Okay, mine's a little weird. I was working as a TV host in a small town in Pennsylvania, and on a second date, the woman shows up with a scrapbook filled with clippings of me. Oh. That's oh, stalkerish, no. isn't it? What did you do? I was confused. Oh. Well, I made the best of it. Okay. Uh, Craig says that he was left at a company party. His date left the party with a hunky, blonde, blue-eyed Swedish college student. Oh. And she left her coat there with him, too. Oh, ouch. That stings. <laughs> Poor Craig. Jennifer says that uh, the guy gave her the address to meet him at the club. The club turned out to be a Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a little bit like my uh, worst date, which was a miscommunication where I was told it was going to be a black tie event, so oh, I wore sure. a gown, and like most people were there in khakis. Oh, so it was a little, sad. it was kind oh, of embarrassing. You did not want to be in that no, situation. it wasn't great. Okay, Alicia, hers was uh, a canoe capsized in the first 15 minutes, clothes weren't anchored down, and they're floating down the river, and she's terrified of drowning. Mm. But on the upside, They've been married for almost 16 years now, so all's wow. well that ends well. Yes. Um, Jan said that her date came to the door, she opened it, he farted, she laughed, he farted yes. some more, and this continued for about 40 minutes. Oh, I feel like he needed to see a doctor, maybe. Or, that's a yeah, plus. Or a first response. That may be a condition of some kind. <laughs> wow, that's a bad situation. Yeah. I went on a date with a woman in South Carolina, and she said that she had a confession to make. Every other weekend, she would go up to Maryland to visit a disgraced South Carolina lawmaker in prison. He was part of the Lost Trust scandal. Okay. So he was in a minimum security prison. She would go up there every other weekend to hang out with him. I don't even know. I just said, you gotta, that's that's you, and you two need to figure out where you're at. Oh, yeah, yeah I mean, good did idea. You, did you go, was that your first and last uh, date? First and last date okay. there. Um, among other first and last dates, uh, Michelle said that she went out with a guy who would only talk to her through a puppet. Oh. <laughs> a little creepy, right? I don't see anything wrong with that. That you. seems totally normal to me. And Rick says, uh, met a woman on a dating site. She told him she does this for the free meals. Oh, well, it's honest. honesty. It's the best policy. <laughs> So what's the worst date you've ever been on? Go to our King 5 Evening Facebook page and weigh in yourself. And Jose, the ladies are going to be happy to know this. You're still out there in the dating world. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> what is the worst date that you've ever been on? Ooh, I invited this lovely lady for a hike. And as a joke, I said, wow, this is kind of could be the potential of a scene of a horror film. And what happened is that we got lost. Uh, the night fall on us, and then she got hurt, so we got stuck in the middle of nowhere. That was our first date thing. <laughs> wow. And, and do you two still stay in touch? Uh, put it this way, she never called me again. All right. That does sound terrifying. You know what else sounds terrifying to a lot?